If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. This video will describe and demonstrate the configuration change page feature of Comscope Ruckus Analytics. A recent survey by Gartner shows that configuration changes in networks account for approximately 80% of network downtime. These configuration changes involve people and processes and cost a lot of money, approximately 140 to 540,000 per hour. The goal of the Ruckus Analytics configuration change page is to take as much risk as possible out of configuration changes in your networks. The change page feature allows you to monitor and analyze changes to network key performance indicators or KPIs after configuration changes and software changes have been made. As a note, it monitors KPIs from manual network changes, not from automatic changes. As an example, when you manually update firmware on a smart zone controller or an AP or manually change the channel bandwidth on an AP, such as switching from a 20 MHz channel to a 40 MHz channel, it's going to measure this. Another example would be a software upgrade over the weekend. It may look good on the weekend, but when hundreds of users join the network on Monday, the network performance might be degraded. In this demonstration, we're using virtual smart zones versus the Ruckus Cloud. To get to the configuration change page from the main dashboard, I would click on Analytics, and here you see Config Change. So I'm going to click on that. So this is the home page for the configuration change. So let's go through and discuss what we have here. So for example, under the network, we are looking at the network hierarchy here. On the upper right, we have a timestamp, and it can be set last seven days or the last month. So I'm going to leave it at the last seven days here. So in addition to the main menu on the left here, we have three major sections. We have the configuration change tile section. We have the health section on the left here and then we have the configuration change listing. The configuration change tile displays configuration changes that have been applied at the zone, the WLAN group, the WLAN, the AP group, or the AP. And every change in the configuration or software change is displayed as a dot on the time series graph. Each dot is colored based on the level on which the configuration was applied and is represented by that color. So for example, if I click on this orange dot, this represents a zone change, and you notice that it brings up that particular change here. So for example, on May 21st, there was a firm upward grade from 5.220301 to 5.220.1016. If I scroll back up and I click on this dot, once again, it says that there was a firmware upgrade on this one as well. Something else to note is that if I click on the listing, for example, if I click on this zone, you'll notice that this dot highlights up here. So I can either click on the dot up here and it'll give me the configuration change listing here, or if I go through here, it'll highlight where that dot is up here. Something else I want to bring your attention to is something called lensing. You'll notice that we have some sliding windows here, and one of them is called before, and one of them is after. And I can move these through this timeline, and in this case, I'm on a one-week schedule. And what these are, these are called lenses. So it says that the before and after lens each represents a time window. You drag them to the view and compare aggregated health performance in the two time windows. So for example, here, we're over a seven-day period, May 28th to June 3rd, and you can look at the health status down here. As you notice, there are a lot of changes that have occurred in this network over the past week. This is not necessarily typical of networks because this is more of a test network, so there's a lot of changes that are happening. But in this case, you can see that the before on the connection status, it was 88.71% and after it's 86.5%. So there was a slight decrease in that. Time to connect. That has gone down a little bit from 16.4 seconds. Now it's 3 minutes and 17 seconds. So there were some changes there. And you can go through each one of these health metrics under connection and under performance and under the infrastructure. And you can see what your changes are over time here. So let's say, for example, we want to zero in on a particular time period. Let's say that on May 29th, which happened to be a Friday, and on June 1st, which happens to be a Monday, that we made some software changes in the network. What effect does that have when people return to work on Monday? 
So as you can see here, if you can see that that was a firmware upgrade from 5220.10.16 to 6001640. We also had an upgrade change here, configuration name change, and in this case, we did some load balancing adjustment. So I could move these in. So for example, if I brought these lenses in a little bit more, so between these two windows, we see a configuration change that's been made represented by the green dot. So health KPIs on the left reflect the KPIs before and after the config change is made. And this is how an admin can understand the impact of configuration change on the network. And I just want to point out that this health metric is the same type of information you could find under the health tab. And as you can see, for overview, we have connection, we have time to connect, client throughput, AP controller, and so forth. And we can slide this window back and forth here as well. So the difference on the config change is that this is a fixed size at this point in time over 24-hour increments. So as you can see, scrolling these lenses dynamically computes the KPIs and displays the values on the health tile. And at this point in time, it's in 24-hour increments. So this enables the administrator to monitor the network continuously and ensure that the network performs to its highest capability. So what we're looking at here is the overall configuration changes over the entire network. If I wanted to drill down to a smaller network, if I go under network, if I knew a particular cluster or virtual smart zone that I wanted to go to, I could click on it here or I could do a search. So I'm going to search for VSZ. And in this case, I'm searching because I know a particular virtual smart zone. So it'll give me the name of anything that has VSZ in it. And I can look at one down here. It's VSZ 51 with three APs. And if I click on that, and then if I go to my config change, this is for that particular network. Now, this happens to be my virtual smart zone. So there's not a whole lot of activity going on here because it's a very small network. But you'll see that there have been some changes here. So if I tick on this, it'll say that the default zone. So in this case, there was a firmware upgrade from 5.1.1.2 over to 5.2.2.0.3.0.1. And you can also notice down here there was an AP password uh, admin change. And on the WLAN, if I clicked on that, it also changed from firewall profile, changed from false to true. So if I have a particular virtual smart zone configuration that I want to drill to, or if I have a particular network, so we'll go back to the major network. And as I said, you can scroll through here, or if you happen to know the name, you can go through and pick one of these particular networks that we have in here. So as you can see, the change page feature allows you to monitor and analyze changes to network KPIs after manual configuration changes have been made in your network, reducing the risk of network changes and the cost that they represent to your organization. Mm -hmm.